Wow, I got an email from somebody today who seems to be working extra hard to um, basically say, I can't be happy in my life because I'm gay. And it's everything. It's dad thinks that being gay is because I'm lazy and I don't put the effort into talk to girls. And he says that alcoholics and change, he thinks that alcoholics... Uh, um, you know, and, and all, it, it basically being gay is an addiction. And I am not allowed to be gay and be in the Boy Scouts, even though I'm in the Boy Scouts and I'm uh, supposed to be a role model, but I'm also gay, so what does that make me? And I can't be normal with my friends because I can't talk with them about anything because they like girls and I like guys, and I go to parties and I feel like I can't even continue conversations with them because I don't know how to talk to girls and I don't want to anyway, and I can't go to the gym because I get distracted. Um, I can't have children, I can't be happy, I won't have the kids I thought I might uh, have a chance to have, I can't reproduce, I can't make grandchildren, you know, because that's everyone's job is to basically make children for their own parents to, what, buy shit for. Um, I can't show my family that I can pass on their genes, I can't raise another life and try to teach them. Well, actually, yeah, you can, because... Um, this country is filled with gays and lesbians who are raising kids. Um, you know, I'm just saying. I can't pass on my genes. Biology and human life chose me to be a dead branch on a family tree. Seriously, dude. I mean, and, and then he says, this feels like a pretty big biological defect to me. You know those people who go out of their way to say that their entire lives are miserable because of that one thing that they can't change, and then everything has to relate back to that? It's like they spend all of their energy building this big, huge, gigantic roadblock to throw in front of themselves? Yeah, don't be that guy. Listen, I always thought that I was going to have this really great career in broadcasting, and I had uh, started doing uh, guest and, and uh, you know, sort of panelist um, appearances on a TV show in Canada uh, called The Chat Room, and then I was on a couple of specials on Much Music, which is kind of like the Canadian version of MTV. Um, and, you know, I was thinking, oh, this is great, this is where my career is going, and then I had my botched wisdom tooth extraction where I lost the feeling in a quarter of my face, and my mouth moved really strangely for a while until I kind of relearned how to uh, move my mouth, and I hated video of myself, and I thought I looked terrible, and I got all upset and insisted that I was never going to be happy because of this one thing that I couldn't change. And oddly enough, I'm actually pretty happy right now. Um, you really got to stop being the, that guy, you know, that guy who spends all of his time and all of his effort explaining why he has to be miserable in life. Um... If you're gay, you can have kids. If you are gay, you don't really have any roadblocks thrown in front of you other than a few legal ones. And maybe it might be a better idea to put a little bit more effort into fighting those. You know? Don't ask, don't tell didn't end because straight people were nice enough. Um, don't ask, don't tell ended because the gay community fought really hard. You want to be able to get married and adopt kids, um... Well, or, you know, even have kids through a surrogate mother or something like that. Um, you got to put a little effort into it. Ask the guys in the Paralympics with the gold medals if they sat around complaining about the fact that they only had one leg. Or did they just start running marathons anyway? You know, um, everybody's got that thing about them that they can't change and is a bit of a roadblock. Um... And you can either sit around and complain about that, or you can just start running the marathons anyway. So get up off your ass and start running that marathon. But it means that you do have to fight for yourself. I mean, with your dad, you need to stand up to your dad. You say that, well, I haven't spoken about it to him. Why not? It's your job, unfortunately, to haul your dad kicking and screaming into reality. Whether he likes it or not, you know, it's your job to, uh, to kind of force him into that. This whole idea that Boy Scouts uh, can't be gay, well, maybe that's a fight that you should kind of help take up. And what do you mean you can't go to the gym? I go to the gym 
Everybody goes to the gym. Well, not necessarily everybody, but there's plenty of gay guys at the gym. Just go to the gym. You know? Uh, this idea that, you know, you, you can't have any friends because you're, you're not normal. Maybe you should start hanging out with some gay guys who can also talk about, you know, trying to pick up guys and be each other's wingman. That's actually pretty easy to do. Um, you say that you can't forge deeper relationships with other men who don't share your view. That's ridiculous. I got plenty of straight friends. And, you know, our, our friendships are based on things other than just having sex with women, which, you know, I don't do. Um, it gets, it gets very frustrating when people spend so much energy, you know, using words like, I'm a biological defect, and, I mean, that's like Dr. Laura speak, you know, who, you, 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 you can't allow yourself to become the victim of those people. We just have to kind of keep moving forward and fighting, and we need to kind of live our lives on our own terms, and let everybody else catch up with them. That, that's pretty much it. Um, the idea that you can't have kids, it, it's, it's bullshit. This idea that you can't pass on your family's name. You know, maybe you can actually leave a legacy behind. There's a lot of people who don't ever have children who actually do make a pretty good contribution and they do leave something behind. And they do create something that lasts longer than them. Um, I mean, I'm never going to have kids, but I know that a lot of the movies that I'm directing Hopefully people are still going to be watching those long after I'm gone. Our, you know, I hope we're not going to find that out for another hundred years or so, but, you know, th this, this to me is really the big thing, is you can either sit around and complain about how life's not fair, or you can just get out there and live your life and make it fair. Because it's not fair to anybody, believe me, it's not fair to anyone. You just have to kind of get up off of your ass and, you know, and live. Give yourself permission to live. Stop waiting for other people to give you permission to enjoy your life. Stop waiting for other people to validate you and validate your existence because they're not going to do that. You need to do it yourself. Um, and there you go. I hope this wasn't too heavy for Monday. Oh, and very quickly, somebody else uh, sent me another email, which I'll tack on to the end of this, which he said uh, sometimes he sees guys who get two dicks up their butt um, in a porn movie and does that hurt? Um, yeah. That's why most people don't do it. <laughs> Keep asking me questions.